कि हम आज ये सॉरी सॉरी नमस्ते गुरु जी जय गुरु जी टू ऑल संगत जी एंड वेरी ग्रेटफुल एंड थैंकफुल टू गुरु जी दैट वी कैन जॉइन अगेन टू कंटिन्यू दिस रीडिंग ऑफ अ ब्यूटिफुल एंड डिवाइन बुक ऑफ तू ही तू बाय आर डियरेस्ट आरती आंटी एंड इट इज रियली ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी which she has tried in this she has tried to i would just say some things from her book only just a line or two that uh, she's written this book uh, to embrace guruji's wisdom and her spiritual journey which you know it's like a coming out like a blossoming flower and it's very pure and it's all straight from her heart so through her eyes we are reading this beautiful journey and looking at these beautiful swaroops and pictures you know and uh, very very grateful so i would like to um, welcome aarti aunty who is going to read chapters 9 and 10 which are the only certainty in life is uncertainty and the chapter 10 is there is never an end to his satsangs which we all know it's a beautiful journey welcome aarti aunty thank you so much for your um, divine divine love for guru ji which we can see through your reading through your eyes through your words i just don't know how much i can put into it but it's just and the gratitude that you have it's every word of your you know in the book and your satsangs it's just amazing and it wants us to fall in love with guru ji once again thank you welcome to you over to you jai guru ji namaste to guru ji uh thank you aunty for such a beautiful introduction uh and also thank you to the platform uh thank you to all the sevadars for this flexibility uh unfortunately i could not read over the weekend uh during my scheduled time so um i'm extremely uh grateful for this opportunity and the flexibility from the multilingual team uh aaj the shera bhi hai so the shera ki sari sangat ko bahut bahut mubarak uh the shera we know it's it's about the victory of good over evil in fact uska jo literal meaning bhi hai is dashara which means overcoming those 10 vices that we all know about um uh so you know today is a very very special day when i randomly texted uh, suresh uncle and even saki that i just i just feel like reading today i did not even connect the dots ke aaj dashara hai aur aaj meri reading ki baat ho rahi in fact um i read shiv puran's um shiv puran uh, in english uh, Uh, I try to read every Monday and Tuesday. Um, and yesterday I text um, texted Sina Aunty that today my reading will not be possible. And then when I connected the dots with this one, I was like, uh, I'm going to set my recording for that one as well. So Shukrana Guruji, uh, how he gives us this sochi and direction. We think of one thing, and you know he makes us do or manifest another thing. So um, thank you, Guruji. Um, last week we had. read through through the halfway point so pehle eight chapters maine pad liye and the last chapter was when i wrapped up we had spoken about the um ha samadhi now ma samadhi jai guru ji i'm so sorry to interrupt you but the angle of the camera can you just adjust it a bit it's so thoda teda hai ya something which i'm so sorry to interrupt you <laughs> No, 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 no worries. Is it better now? Uh, me, mere ko to phone pe tera dik uh, dik raha matlab. I don't um, like on the phone when I'm doing it. Uh, straight, it's uh, uh, uh at an angle, and when I do it an, at an angle, it goes to the opposite position. <laughs> I don't know if you can do it. Don't worry too much about it. I don't want you to. <laughs> you know put too much time yeah, in this yeah i'm sorry i i don't oh, no. know it's this is like a new oh, tripod stand so, and i haven't been able to figure this one out it, it's okay somebody is saying in the chat put it on landscape i am not that great either in this <laughs> but they say okay hold on um, i'm going to i'm going to try okay i'm going to try okay. please bear with no, me but, yes, yes, no but yes apology no 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 problem at all thank you
अभी भी टेढ़ा है क्या हाँ जी हाँ जी अभी भी टेढ़ा है कोई बात नहीं आरती आंटी आप ज्यादा टाइम मत लगाइए आई नो आपका अभी ड्यूरिंग द वर्क यू मस्ट बी रीडिंग यू नो वर्किंग आप कोई बात नहीं आप पढ़िए हम सुनते हैं सॉरी अबाउट दैट नो 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 वरीज हम सुनते हैं डोंट वरी अबाउट आई नो इट्स ड्यूरिंग वर्किंग आवर्स फॉर यू थैंक यू Okay, so uh, shuru karte hai aaj ki reading. So like I was saying that last week I had wrapped it up with uh, my chapter on Guruji's Mahasamadhi, and it was a recollection of the things that happened during Mahasamadhi. And we all know that वो तो सिर्फ गुरुजी का एक तरीका था हमारे को दिखाने के लिए कि जो इस दुनिया में आया है उसमें जाना है नथिंग लास्ट फॉर एवर कुछ भी परमानेंट नहीं है एवरीथिंग दैट इज इन आर सराउंड इट्स ऑल ट्रांसियंट इट इज ट्रूली द जर्नी ऑफ जस्ट सोल की जर्नी होती है और बात संगत जी है आई वॉन्ट से भरोसे की कि उस टाइम तो चलो गुरु जी चोले में थे हम उनको देख सकते थे हम उनको सुन सकते थे हम उनको छू सकते थे उनसे बातचीत कर सकते थे लेकिन आज वो चोले में नहीं है और हमारा भरोसा और संगत दिन ब दिन बढ़ती जा रही है एंड बानी भी ये कहती है कि भरोसा इतना इम्पोर्टेंट है दैट्स व्हाई देर यू नो विषय कि अगर कुछ मांगना है तो भरोसा दान मांगो कि हम कहते हैं कि अगर हम नाम पे भी जाप रहे जाप कर रहे हैं अगर हम यू नो चैंटिंग मंत्र और नाम जप कर रहे हैं और अगर हमारे अंदर वो भरोसा नहीं है तो वो नाम भी नाम की दात भी पूरी तरह से नहीं मिलती अगर भरोसा ना हो सो गुरु जी अंग संग गुरु जी तू ही तू चैप्टर नाइन इज इट्स कॉल्ड दी ओनली सर्टनिटी इन लाइफ इज अनसर्टनिटी एंड दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली एप्ट बिकॉज ये गुरु जी के ही वचन है कि गुरु जी कहते थे कि uh, कल की नहीं कम ले पल की खबर नहीं है so uh, as mentioned earlier my job at deloitte required a significant amount of travel but it also provided me with valuable experience that qualified me for a bigger role during my time at cognizant i found myself immersed in the salesforce space and eventually joined deloitte salesforce practice salesforce was a highly sought after field then and it remains so today however the journey was not easy I had to obtain numerous certifications but the effort was undoubtedly worth it each failure i encountered brought valuable lessons and fueled my determination to succeed so i you know maine apne apne jobs ka thoda sa yahan par description diya hai wo satsang share kiya hai ki kaise i feel and i believe ki meri career trajectory ke पीछे मेरे गुरु साहेब का ही हाथ था ही वॉज ट्रूली इंस्पायरिंग ही वॉज ट्रूली पेविंग द पैथ एंड जैसे जैसे गाइडेंस मिलती जा रही थी आई आई जस्ट कैप फॉलोइंग माई हार्ट एंड श्योर यू नो एवरी पैथ प्रेजेंट इट सेल्फ विद सर्टन चैलेंजेस बट अगेन इट गोज बैक टू हाउ मच फेथ टू वी हैव इन आर सेल्फ एंड इन हिज प्लान एंड इन हिज ग्रैंड डिजाइन टू जस्ट कीप going with the flow as time went on the excessive travel took a toll and i realized that my kids needed me to be more present at home it was then that i considered the possibility of working directly for salesforce itself after all i had been using and mastering the application and the idea seemed both promising and financially rewarding in my mind i was convinced that this was the best career move for me so during that time when i was with deloitte and like i said i had to travel um, on a weekly basis to shuru shuru mein to travel ka bada maza aata hai because you know um, status milta hai airlines mein hotels mein but aista 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 you know the, it starts to take a toll and it was no different for me and i was like okay i'm done with traveling i i think i need to be more at home uh, for my two daughters um so a opportunity presented itself to me and that was from the company directly salesforce.com so while i was working in the salesforce practice of deloitte this was um, an offer or an opportunity i want to say not an offer an opportunity in that company 
and i was very psyched about that opportunity because you know it looked to be uh very financially rewarding it was a remote position so i was like this looks perfect one day a thrilling opportunity presented itself through my best friend for what i considered my dream job at salesforce i went through all the interview rounds with excitement feeling confident that i would secure the position however guruji had different plans for me and despite my hopes i did not receive the job of for i was longing for as humans it's natural for dejection to bring us down despite feeling pressed fallen i held on to the belief that something better awaited me being in guruji sharan made the recovery process faster because faith brings acceptance and endurance while every satsang doesn't lead to a happily ever after each experience offers valuable lessons if we are willing to learn so jaise maine aapko bataya ki jab ye opportunity presented itself ye maine satsang bhi share kiya hua hai so i had to go through several rounds of interviews so uh pehla round hua i got through that the second the third and the final round was like a panel presentation uh in front of the senior uh, leadership team and um uh you know when the after the presentation happened i felt kind of okayish about it like um i wasn't i wasn't too brilliant but i wasn't bad also plus this this role was you know for somebody who's been in this arena i want to say for about 20 to 25 years so it was a, a very senior role as well but mere ko kahin na kahin hope thi that because i got through so many rounds the final round tak pahunch gayi hu तो मन में एक वो छोटी सी यू नो एक स्पार्क वाज लिट अप कि इतनी दूर तक गुरुजी लेकर आए हैं तो शायद ये रोल भी मिल जाएगा अदरवाइज यू नो पहले राउंड्स में आई वुड बीन शॉट बट जब यू नो आई गॉट टू नो द डिसीजन दैट आई वाज नॉट ऑफर्ड द जॉब आई वाज वेरी डिजेक्टेड वेरी डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज आई फेल लाइक कि मैंने एक्चुअली इस इस पोजिशन के लिए थोड़ी तैयारी करी थी आई स्पेंड टाइम प्रपिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रोल uh you know delivering working on my talk track but it didn't happen aur hum kya hota hai ki hum kaale pad jate hain agar hame koi cheez dikh gayi anything glittery and shiny that we like we want aur hame lagta hai that this is the best thing for us again this is our mind that is pulling us in that direction but when guru ji actually doesn't give you something that you want where does your bharosa come into play Yeah, I wanted something. I worked hard for it. I did not get it. Obviously, my guru's plan is better than my plan. And I think because we are in Guruji Sharan, that that thought recovering from that dejection becomes a lot easier. But again, only if we are willing to learn. Only if we are willing to accept. The previous interview process though disappointing served as a valuable preparation for what came next. After almost 11 months later another opportunity arose through a consulting firm called Slalom. The recruiter reached out to me and I underwent several rounds of interviews again. Interestingly around the same time Salesforce also contacted me for a different position. For the final round at Slalom I was invited to their New York City office at One World Trade Center they asked me to keep my morning free to conduct all the rounds in one day however as luck would have it due to unprecedented traffic related delays I arrived at the office at 9:20 which was 20 minutes later than the appointed time making my first impression rather shaky my complacency and and preference for the salesforce opportunity made me less nervous during the interview at slalom i wasn't too hyped about getting in and was just going through the process because it came my way however meeting the people at slalom changed my perspective i was impressed by their local consulting model and the idea of a break from constant airport travel appealed to me i thought this could be the right move for me so like i said that you know that salesforce position did not work out but jo mehnat maine is previous position ke liye kari thi 
couple months later when this opportunity presented itself and the recruiter contacted me that hey are you are you you know looking for a change and what appealed to me about this role was that this was a local consulting model so that means ki travel weekly travel nahi karna padega aur uh, jab mera interview schedule hua tha to in the meantime salesforce se ek dusri position uh, ki bhi um, you know a, a recruiter had contacted me तो मैंने कहा चलो सलाम के इंटरव्यू के लिए मैंने हाँ कर दी है तो ये कर लेते हैं बट आई वाज राधर कंप्लेसेंट कि मिला तो मिला नहीं मिला तो आई एम मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन सेल्स फोर्स एनीवे एंड दे हैड टोल्ड मी कि आप अपनी मॉर्निंग खाली रखना सो वील की यू नो पूरा मॉर्निंग ब्लॉक कर लेना सो दैट एक दो तीन जितने भी राउंड होंगे वील गेट ए डन दैट डे सो नौ बजे का उन्होंने मेरे को न्यूयॉर्क सिटी में टाइम दिया लेकिन न्यू जर्सी से न्यूयॉर्क आना इट्स इट्स अ नाइट मेयर कभी कभी इतना ट्रैफिक इतना ट्रैफिक मिलता है दैट यू नो यू फील हेल्पलेस दर इज नथिंग यू कैन डू सो आई शोड अप ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लेट बट आई वॉज इन वॉरिड बिकॉज मेरे मन में था कि मैं तो आई एम जस्ट यू नो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग आई एम जस्ट डूइंग दिस फॉर द हेक ऑफ इट एक्सपीरियंस के लिए कर रही हूँ मुझे कौन सी ये वाली जॉब चाहिए बट वेन आई वेंट टू दर ऑफिस आई मेट दो पीपल um i looked at the values of the organization i felt good about that place and i was like maybe uh this could be the new home for me so uh i did my interview and aage padte hain soon after i received an offer from slalom which i accepted to my delight within a day i was assigned a client uh just 25 minutes from home this was a commute i had not experienced in ages and it brought me great joy so the interview went well i was given the offer i accepted it and i was staffed at a client uh, you know which was like literally 20 25 minutes from my home so that was delightful because aisa maine saalon mein experience nahi kiya tha ke ke you know daftar ya client side aapke ghar se 20 se 25 minute dur ho बट ये सारे गुरु के रंग हैं आई एम डीपली ग्रेटफुल टू गुरु जी फॉर गाइडिंग मी बैक होम आई फर्मली बिलीव दैट एवरीथिंग दैट हैपन्स इज अ पार्ट ऑफ हिज ग्रैंड डिजाइन इवन इफ वी मे नॉट इमीडिएटली अंडरस्टैंड द रीजन्स बिहाइंड सर्टन इवेंट्स एक्सेप्टेंस फेथ एंड सरेंडर बिकम द कोर मंत्रज ड्यूरिंग सच टाइम्स Guruji's divine protection is always with us but it's our stubbornness and our overconfidence that sometimes lead us to believe that we know what's best for her or for us so jab hum truly surrender karte hain sangat ji to like i said ki wo my you see wo dejection bhi us surrender ke sath dissolve ho jati hai ye hamari khud ki zid hai ki hame lagta hai ki hame pata hai hamare liye kya acha hai लेकिन जब पूर्ण विश्वास अपने गुरु पे हो जाता है तो हम कहते हैं कि गुरुजी जो मर्जी हो जाए हमें पता है कि ये करने कराने वाले आप हो और आप हमारी सोच से कई गुना बेहतर ही करोगे हमारे लिए माय एक्सपीरियंसेस वाइल ट्रैवलिंग फॉर वर्क टॉट मी इन वैल्यूबल लेसन सम इवेंट्स लेफ्ट अ लास्टिंग इम्पैक्ट ऑन माई लाइफ बट इफ आई कंप्लेन आई वुड बी प्रैक्टिस वॉट आई प्रीच राइट life is filled with occurrences every day and we have the choice to either accept them as they are or make the changes when needed my life was about to undergo a significant change marking the beginning of new opportunities and chapters i am immensely grateful for the wonderful life guru ji has blessed me with he has made me able body provided me with a home and bestowed boundless love from himself and his sangha guruji always keeps me on my toes guiding and inspiring me every step of the way in late 2019 i had the incredible opportunity to plan a five day spiritual retreat dedicated to guruji it was a flying visit to india and within those five days we visited all holy centers associated with guruji the journey took us from bade mandir to duguri and jalandhar then to gk and finally empire state to mere paas 5 din the aur un 5 dino mein guru kripa se uh, guruji ke panchon dhamon ke darshan hue 
on the last night before departing, I attended and shared my journey with Guruji at the Select City Mall in Delhi. During the satsang of Guruji, many Sangat witnessed Guruji's chola uh, dupatta moving from one side to the other. So um, obviously when I was doing the satsang, I was facing the audience and I was completely ob oblivious ke piche, jo, jo piche asan, you know, Guruji ka sajaya hai, usme literally chola, uh, you know, moved from chair ki, kursi ki ek taraf se dusri uh, side pe, aur koi pankhe nahi the, kuch aisa nahi tha, aisa lag raha tha ki jase Guruji ne apna chola aise karke hilaya ho. Several clips captured this extraordinary phenomenon. At that time, I was unaware of this occurrence as I was deeply immersed in expressing my love in my own words towards him. It is possible that this movement held a symbolic meaning beyond my comprehension. The entire trip was a dream come true, meticulously orchestrated by Maharaj himself. The experiences I had throughout the journey are beyond words and cannot be fully documented. Every aspect of the trip fell into place effortlessly. It was like a satsang in itself. This was not my plan. It was solely guided by Guruji. My burning desire to undertake a trip dedicated to Guruji was met with his divine intervention and he took care of the rest. This journey reaffirmed the power of our thoughts. Our deepest wishes can manifest into reality. That's why Guruji often emphasized Changa Sochya Karo. Always think positively. Now, Sangaji, I will tell you how much significance is. Because how much is it? And this is the only thing that I have to say. I have to say that we 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 have to say that पंडित जी से पत्थर मांग के ले आता है तो वो पत्थर तो पंडित के पास भी था लेकिन उस पत्थर को भगवान में परिवर्तन कर कैसे कैसे हुआ वो था धन्य का भाव क्योंकि वो पत्थर वॉज विद पंडित जिससे धन्ना वो मांग के ले आता है कि मेरे को ठाकुर दे दे तो वो उस कोई मूर्ति नहीं देना चाहता तो वो पत्थर पंडित वो पत्थर उठा के दे देता है कि ये ले ठाकुर तू ले जा और उस पत्थर को उस पत्थर से भगवान को आना पड़ा क्यों भाव के पीछे तो अगर हम यू you नो know, सच्चे भाव से अपने गुरु के आगे अपना यू you नो know, तन मन धन सब समर्पण करते हैं तो हमें ऐसी सोच भी कैसे आ सकती है कि हमारा गुरु सुन नहीं रहा हमारा गुरु हमेशा सुनता है अगर हमें कभी लगे कि गुरुजी हमारी पुकार नहीं सुन रहे तो संगत जी मैं तो सिर्फ इतना कह सकती हूँ कि अपना मांगने का ढंग बदल के देख क्योंकि गुरुजी तो सुनते हैं एंड चाहे उस टाइम आपको गुरुजी की यू नो लीला समझ ना आए गुरु का डिजाइन समझ ना आए लेकिन इन द लॉन्गर रन आहिस्ता 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 आई थिंक थिंग स्टार्ट टू मैनिफेस्ट दम सेल्स एंड थिंग स्टार्ट टू मेक मोर सेंस So, uh, like I said, that when the chola moved from one side to the other, I did not know what this meant for my life. I did not know that within the next year I'll be leaving my, you know, first marital home and looking for a new place. But and and it wasn't easy. But everything according to His will. जैसे हम कहते हैं कि सोचा जाए तो भगवान की इच्छा के बिना तो पत्ता भी नहीं छूट सकता. So, uh, thinking positive, keeping your intent in check is very, very, very important. And I say this all the time because our thoughts will become our words. Our words will become our actions. And those actions will become our destiny. So that five-day trip is very, very memorable and very, very close to my heart. And I do want to, you know, uh, offer special thanks and my gratitude, heartfelt gratitude to, uh, to Gaurav Khushbu for just making everything possible. Because I, I think if they don't enable this, then in five days, in five places, I was in Delhi for the longest time. I've never been to Great Akalash. It was my first time. Tha. In fact, there's a satsang bhi, I don't know if I've documented uh, in this book. But uh, I, I remember that when I was in the temple of Ji, I was 
मैं पहली बार गई कैसे गुरु जी के कमरे में बैठकर मतलब मेरे आंसू ही ना बंद हुए कि पता नहीं क्या हो गया और उसके बाद किसी ने कोई वहां कोई और आई थिंक शीना आंटी या कोई था मुझे याद नहीं है ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन की बात है उन्होंने कहा कि आंटी आप अपना सत्संग सुनाओ तो मैंने अपना नारियल पानी वाला सत्संग सुनाया एंड देन आउटसाइड द मंदिर यू नो समन ऑन द रेडी ब्रिंग्स इज सेलिंग नारियल पानी और फिर गुरु के कमरे में बैठ के भी ऑफर्ड नारियल पानी एंड इट वॉज लाइक रीलिविंग दोज मोमेंट्स जो हमने कुछ बीस साल पहले आई शेयर दिस सत्संग के गुरु के हम कमरे में बैठे थे उनका नारियल पानी आया गुरु ने एक सिप लिया फिर बाकी का ग्लास मुझे दिया इट वॉज लाइक वो मोमेंट्स रिपीट हो रहे हैं तो ऐसी लाल तुझबिन कौन करे मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर विच सेस दैट देयर इज नेवर एन एंड टू हिज सत्संग्स एंड दैट इज सो ट्रू क्योंकि हर घड़ी हर वक्त सत्संग है हम समझने वाले तो बने जब तक सांस है तब तक सत्संग है एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर ब्रीदिंग देर इज सत्संग इज प्रोफाउंड ट्रू रेजोनेट्स डीपली Satsang, the company of truth, or the association with the divine, is a perpetual state that has no beginning or end. It's an eternal journey that continues beyond this life, and the one we carry with us beyond the realms of morality, in His name. Beyond the realms of mortality, in His name. Uh, pardon me. Putting an end to satsang sharing is an impossible task, for there is no termination to this divine communion. Guruji's presence and teachings endure, and he communicates with us through various means. One such way is through dreams, where if we are fortunate enough, we can see him and feel his guidance. On March twenty third, twenty twenty, Guruji appeared in my dream, directing me to start having chai tea with him. In the dream, he also in and in that dream, we went to Edison, a place in New Jersey, for some mithai, and he asked for bread pakora. Interestingly, we had started Monday satsangs in the temple then that year, and that very day, I did have bread pakora seva at the temple. it was a very delightful and uplifting experience to see him in this ethereal realm even in the midst of the world struggles during the pandemic guruji continues to reassure that all will be well so ye wala chapter 10 mujhe abhi tak yaad hai i had written in 2020 um and ye 23rd march 2020 ka hi sapna hai like we all know that guruji finds a way to communicate with us in different ways and forms hamara antenna tune mein hona chahiye to receive that message chahe wo aap dream dream ka darshan keh lo aap telepathy keh lo aap apne uh, antarman ki awaaz keh lo to guruji will find a way to make his presence uh, feel uh, you know his presence to be felt and uh, in in his dream um this was uh, i think 2020 mein shivratri feb march mein ko date nahi yaad ye shivratri ke aas paas ka hai ke uh, guru ji sapne mein aaye and sapne mein mujhe aake bolte hain ki chal hum edison mein mithai kha kar aate hain mujhe koi samajh nahi aaya matlab ki kyun wo edison ka bol rahe hain kya wo mithai khane ka bol rahe hain aur phir unhone bread पकौड़े की मांग करी और उसी साल हमने मंडेज का सत्संग शुरू किया था द टेंपल अदरवाइज टेंपल में सिर्फ दो दिन यहाँ पर सत्संग होता था थर्सडे एंड संडे सो वी स्टार्टेड मंडेज एंड मंडेज को सिर्फ चाय के साथ स्नैक होता है लंगर नहीं होता और उस दिन ब्रेड पकौड़े की भी सेवा थी तो कैसे गुरु जी वैलिडेट कर देते हैं कि मैं सब देख रहा हूँ मैं सब सुन रहा हूँ I had a profound realization about how Guruji had protected my little one in the past, and I feel uh, compelled to briefly share the experience. Around the year 2015, I began having some random nightmares that something bad was going to happen to my daughter Amira. I think ये मैंने पहले भी शेयर किया है. Um, as the frequency of those distressing visions increased. her dad also started having the same nightmares i kept this to myself not wanting to scare him even more but the visions grew more vivid and real causing deep concern eventually he confided 
in his mother and out of fear and worry, they sought the advice of an astrologer. Initially, the astrologer was hesitant to look at the horoscope of a child under 12 years old, but with some persuasion and sharing of the background, he made an exception. Unfortunately, our worst fear was confirmed. The astrologer identified bad, bad gray, which is a negative planetary alignment of stars, affecting Amira, and he stressed that it was crucial to take extra care of her until she turned eight or else we could lose her. The revelation intensified my paranoia, particularly because in 2014, I had faced a difficult decision regarding an abortion. Um, I carry immense guilt for going against Guruji's will in interfering with the potential life of another soul. In that instance, I was carrying a boy and my mind was constantly consumed by questions about why Guruji was trying to bring the soul to life through me, only for us to intervene and prevent it for various reasons I won't delve into here. So, yeah, I'm telling you about 2015 that uh, when both, uh, you know, Vikram and I, we started to get nightmares about Amira and I had stopped sharing because I thought that the amount I share, the amount I reinforce it. And in 2014, I had undergone an abortion. So, I was expecting a third child. Um, the reports showed us that it was going to be a boy, but we weren't uh, mentally or uh, emotionally just ready to, you know, have a third kid. We always thought that if you have two kids, that's what it is. So, when these nightmares started in 2015, so I started to tie this back to the abortion that I didn't know why Guruji was trying to send another soul into our lives. And, and uh, you know, we didn't guidance to Guruji, we had to do our own abortion. So, you know, it's not that if Amaira will happen to Amaira, so these thoughts, you know, plague karne lage. Aur upar se jo, uh, you know, and the pundit said that, so it's more than that, like they say, fueling our fears, ke, you know, negativity attracts more negativity. So, the astrologer's warning about the potential risk to our daughter, Amaira's life, if we did not put a ruby, a uh, red stone on for her protection created tremendous pressure on me. The elders and the family strongly advocating for following this advice, assuring us that it won't harm her. As a mother, I held Amira's well-being above all else, but I was caught in a conflict. As a devoted disciple of Guruji, I was not inclined to wear any stones. As a means of protection, I firmly believed in emphasizing Guruji's blessings over astrology when guiding others. Despite the pressure, I decided to take a stance. I suggested that we, that Amira's red ruby would be Guruji's locket attached to a red thread. So Sangaji, I um, believe in this so firmly that yes, I believe that Gray and uh, you know, Gray se kiye ve dosh exist karte hain. Lekin usse bada hamara guru hai. Usse badi hamari guru ki kripa hai. So life mein jo marzi ho jaye, jaye financial distress aa jaye, relationships, health, jo marzi. Maine kabhi koi mundriyaan nahi pehni because meko lagta hai Okay, when I go to an astrologer, I'm actually intervening with my guru's plan. And this just goes to show that and that's why I'm trying to seek protection from elsewhere. So Hamesha Guruji bhi rokte the ke pandito ke chakro mein mat pada karo, ye mudriya mat pehno. Otherwise, you are actually interfering with my kripa. So I held on to that thought and even in the most difficult situation where there was immense pressure on me to cave in. Ke hars kya hai, marta kya na karta, itni bhi zid karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai. Haan, guru ji hai, par, you know, hum wo if but lagana shuru kar dete hai. But, pada nahi guru ji ne kaise strength di that I was very resolute in my stance and I was like, agar lal ruby pe na nahi hai, to guru ji ka lal swaroop uska ruby bane ra. Determined, I went to Guruji's sacred space in our home and searched through the drawers filled with Guruji's lockets. The locket that I instinctively grabbed was a picture of Guruji with him wearing red attire. Although I didn't have a red thread, I used a mauli, a sacred thread, 
and tied it around Amira's neck along with Guruji's locket. The next day was Sunday and our routine was to visit the mandir as usual on that particular day. An uncle had come from India and shared his satsang with everyone. After the satsang, we proceeded to the langar room to perform our seva. During this time, Vikram called me out of my seva, which was quite unusual. He informed me that that uncle wanted to share another satsang. I, I expressed that I could listen. I could listen after finishing my seva, but he insisted that I come immediately. The uncle began sharing his satsang, explaining that he had initially wanted to deliver it in Guruji's Darbar, but couldn't find enough time. He proceeded to narrate a miraculous incident about a little girl who had passed away. As her body was being taken for cremation, Guruji's car crossed paths with the funeral procession. Guruji declared that the girl was his devotee and that her time to leave this world had not come yet. She needed to be revived. He gave her a red thread and a red locket and placed them around her neck. And miraculously, the little girl came back to life. According to that uncle, that girl still visits Bade Mandir. So again, I want to clarify, Sangaji, I don't know the validity of the satsang. I don't know that girl personally. I haven't experienced this personally. I am just sharing what I heard in the temple. And this was a message he emphasized the red thread. And remember, I told you that I locket to wear it, but I was not wearing it. So I was wearing it in the mall. And how did he come to the next day? He comes to a random satsang of a girl. And he comes to a random satsang of a girl. And he comes to a random satsang of a girl. Which I think was very important in my mind at that time. What astonished me was the uncle's next revelation. He mentioned that he had brought strong red threads for lockets and offered to distribute them in the temple. This sent shivers down my spine because it was it felt like Guruji's message was meant for me. I had resolved not to put a stone on Amira, instead believing that Guruji was her ruby, her protector. Now, Guruji seemed to reaffirm that belief by not only giving her a red locket, but also a red thread to go with it. It's been many years since that incident and Amira continues to wear the same red thread around her neck. She's now a big girl and I'm eternally grateful for Guruji's divine protection and guidance in our lives. Today, Amira is 13 years old, Sangaji. So, ye hai Guruji ki kripa. And uh, with this, I have concluded the 10th chapter. Um, the next reading, we haven't decided. It's not going to be on a Saturday, but I will work it out with the multilingual team and Saki auntie. Uh, once again, uh, Sangaji, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Jobi Ajis Ghari Me, at a short notice, Jur Saka for this reading. I am grateful, or Ye Sosila Ham Jari Rakhenge. The information will go out. Shukrana Guruji, Rakhi, Charna De Kol. Om Namah Shivai, Shivji Sada Sahai. Om Namah Shivai, Guruji Sadahi Sahai. Thank you.